we're going to compute the average of these numbers right here. We've got five numbers, so we're going to add them together and divide by five. Now this three is in the, should be a little bit to the right in the ones place. So we're going to go ahead and add these together. So we got 11, 14, 15, and 20. Now that three's not supposed to be here. It's supposed to be in the other column. So we got two plus one is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a nice number to divide by five. So 80 over five, that will be, oh no, 20? Seems right, when in doubt, you can always go to your calculator. 80 over five, 16, ah, that's pretty close. All right, so that'll be the average. And next we're gonna do the standard deviation. Uh, so you do need the average in order to get the standard deviation. So we typically call this X bar because our uh, variable is called X right here. So we'll write the standard deviation formula. So it's gonna be the square root of a lot of stuff. And the first one will be the first X value. So this will be X1, X2, x3, x4, and x5. So it's the first value minus the average squared plus the second value minus the average squared plus the third value minus the average squared plus the fourth value minus the average squared. And I think we can squeeze this in. All right, I'm not gonna do the calculator part of this because it takes a little while to type in, but just make sure that you subtract the values before you apply the square. You'll get a very different result if you don't do that. So I'm, uh, we use parentheses here to make sure that we do the subtraction before we do the squaring. So let's go ahead and put our actual values in here. So our first is three minus, average is 16 squared plus Second one is 18 minus the average squared plus 23 minus the average squared plus 11 minus the average squared plus 24 minus the average squared. Now, I'm not the greatest at subtraction but I will warn you, um, when you do this subtraction here, yes, it, the first one does turn to negative 13. But if you think about what you're doing, you're about to square all these values. So none of these negative signs are going to matter. So what I like to do is just write the positive difference between these numbers. So we got 13. This one right here already is positive. So it's 2 squared. I guess now I'm on a roll, I can't stop subtracting. Seven squared, ah, oh, here we go. We got a negative here, it's gonna be negative five, but again, we're gonna square, so that doesn't matter, and last up, got eight squared. All right, so square all these numbers, add them together, and take the square root, and that should give you your standard deviation.